Back in the warmth of the NEC, the Autosport International Show had some live action on the go for the second year running. And this year, the show has to prove even better than it had in 1994. Pro-drive prodigy Richard Burns was to be one of the stars of the weekend in the fabulous Subaru Impreza. The way he hurled the car around the confines of the arena proved that he really has got immense talent. And believe it or not, this is just a practice run. Sunday though, he'd overcome many of these early problems. Now let's join Jeremy Clarkson and Tiffany Dell for the best of the action. What I'm going to demonstrate to you now is a, I'm not going to demonstrate it, going to get demonstrated for you, is a Peugeot 306 driven by Will Gollop. It has a perfectly standard 1.9 litre 16 valve twin cam MI16 unit such as is found in the 405. But on this car it's just had one or two modifications, let's bring it forwards. Yes, as you've probably gathered from that chirpy noise, it has an aviary under the bonnet, plus an absolutely enormous turbocharger, so that the car you see here develops 650 horsepower. All the cooling equipment, the fans and the radiators are in the back because this is a rallycross car. Now, I reckon that with 650 horsepower, it is going to set a faster time round here than Tiff's miserable rally cars. Show them what real power is all about, Will. Three laps then, four wheel drive, four, Carlos, watch three, the clock. Two, Unbelievable acceleration out of the turns here from Will. Yesterday he was a dominant man. You have seen the quickest time over the whole three days. That was a stunningly precise demonstration. Tried to keep 650 horsepower under control on this ice rink-like surface. I'm afraid me rally boys are in trouble. Yeah, this time you've even got to admit <laughs> beating that's going to be hard work. Uh, and Will, an extra round of applause for Will Gollop because that was one of the best runs we've seen. So now I'm in trouble. However, first up, we have someone who's won two of these events outright so far this weekend. He's one of the wild children of rallying who are going to be names. I think we're going to see a lot of young British talent. Uh, last year, he won the Group N class in the RAC rally at you know, Ford Escort Cosworth. This year, he's doing the British Formula 2 Championship in a front-wheel drive Nissan Sunny. But for this weekend, they've let him loose in the four-wheel drive, 320 horsepower, Sunny GTIR. It is Johnny Milner. What is it these dancing 
drivers, they never find the start line. I just hope we can get around the first corner. Five, four, three, two, one. who even with the straw all over the track is going to put your boring little beastie down into fourth place. Because lining up in the spitting, popping, banging Subaru Impreza in the very car that he won last year's RAC rally in, I hope it's going to be the 1995 World Rally Champion. It is, of course, Colin McRae.
saves it. Slower than the Cosworth. Right, where's Will? Well, 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 well. Ladies and gentlemen, Will God, that was the most sensational drive we've seen the entire time we've been here. Thank you very much. I mean, how, what, what have you been eating or drinking or, or taking, indeed, out there to get you around in 52 seconds? I was just getting so fed up with these rally cars beating me that we just did a few bits to the car and went for it. Now you've got 650 horsepower. In all seriousness, aren't you mildly surprised that they get so close when they've got mm, 300, supposedly? Supposedly. Um, no, not really. They're, they're allowed very sophisticated four-wheel drive systems, and we're not to keep the cost of the sport down. Although we have lots of horsepower, we, it's very difficult on a tight track like this to put it all down. Well, that was an absolutely fabulous run. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I think a garland this time for Will, a big kiss from one of the girls, and a huge round of applause from you. It's the most amazing drive I've seen in here. We really do expect the rally boys to win. That's the whole point. <laughs> You got fed up with losing. Great stuff. Johnny Milner, will you come over here? Now look, now look, you had him stuffed. You were half a second ahead. You're a hopeless. And then you a tenth of a second ahead. Now, one minute of the just before I asked Johnny why he threw it away, I actually have to bring Clarkson here, because unfortunately he comes from Yorkshire and I can't understand a word he says. Now believe it or not, Clarkson also comes from Yorkshire. Yes, so. I need him to translate. Anyone out there not from Yorkshire? Yeah. All right, well, this is for your benefit, all right. Johnny, I mean, the quickest rally driver, but you blew it. What went wrong? Oh, he, Will psyched me out on the line. I saw the time he put in, and he's, that's the first 52 that's been put in, and I thought, I've really got to go. Hence the two warm-up spins and everything else. I gave it everything I'd got, and I got, managed to keep British champion and uh, our next probably next world champion behind me, but uh, just not quick enough. He says he's crap. <laughs> now, you did Group N last year, doing Formula 2 this year. What differences are in this uh, four-wheel drive and this, and they let you loose in? This car may look the same as Alistair McRae's car, but this is four-wheel drive, turbocharged, ex-world championship material. I mean, the car used to be up against cars like the Impreza, um, what Colin's driving now. It's just uh, an absolutely awesome machine. It's just got loads and loads of power, and it's really good fun. One big treat for me. It says the car's quite good, but it's not as good as the Impreza. <laughs> Whatever one of those is. Now, Johnny, one other little thing today. We know it's your birthday. Uh, how old are you now? Uh, just a small 26. Oh, come on. You're 12. Your mum's baked you a cake and everything. <laughs> anyway, I have a little surprise present for you today on your birthday because amongst our girls, it's her birthday today as well. It's Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, meet Johnny. So, you two go get to know each Don't just shake hands. What, what went wrong? Because the last three times out here, you've been the quickest and we've had huge cheers and everyone's one runner bought a Cosworth. So, what happened? Well, I thought, seeing as it was Colin's last time, I thought I'd better let Colin have a shan, but, I mean, he didn't do much better than I did either. Are you driving round the understeer problems or have you got them fixed? Uh, I'm trying to drive round them a little bit, but we've made big improvements with the car while we've been here and um, it's, it's performing well now. You're not just fooling around. I mean, people think this is just a toy stage, but there is actually quite a lot of competition between you lot. No, I can tell you, once that uh, Union Jack's in front of you, there's no fooling around, irrespective of what anybody else says, I can tell you. Well, thank you very much. One of the greatest rally drivers of all time, driving the greatest rally car of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Malcolm Wilson and the Cosy. Well, Colin, there I was, building you up. You were going to show, you know, this... Ford and everything else, and what went wrong? I saw your face, Stephanie, it put me off. <laughs> Driving like an old woman. I think the trouble on this surface is like the first time out, you take it a bit too easy. You were just trying too hard, and it's just, I mean, this spitting, what is all this popping and spitting and banging that goes on? No, I think there's something wrong with the engine, that's why we're last. That's the Nigel Mansell Book of Excuses, page 54, paragraph 7, I think. Are you sure it's not traction control? No, no, no. It's a sick engine. What you need is right foot control. That's half your trouble, Colin. But the right foot has been a bit more delicate this year and very impressive and really great hopes for next year. Yeah, it's been going very well the last half of the year and hopefully we continue on to this year. 
But it's a very busy year. I mean, we see these rallies, what, just, what, four days, what, Monte Carlo rally first. But there's a bit more to it than just the event. Yeah, we've been, we've been busy all through December testing, and then I'm going tomorrow. The Monte Carlo rally starts on the 22nd, but I go there tomorrow to start work. And how are we going to stop Clarkson taking his mates down and throwing snow all over the road? What? I don't... I'm not mates of the French. You, I'm sure it's your sort of people that ruin these rallies. Anyway, very good luck to Colin McRae this year's World Rally Championship, but a great deal of luck to all our four-wheel drive stars. But the man that takes the lap of honour this time is the rallycross man, Will Gollop. Will, look at him, Mr Modest. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, may we just... Uh... I just got a small point to make here. Last time Will won, a couple of days ago, on his lap of honour, he had the most monumental shunt and shifted one of these ton and a half blocks about five feet back. So don't expect too many fun and games from him last time. It was too expensive. So if stop chatting, they've got to go now. Sensational 650 horsepower. 306. seen it, this is what happened on Friday evening. Thanks very much for listening. All the best. Cheers. <laughs> 